Right, my dear. So till now, I have shown you a lot of things about uh, uh, refrigeration air conditioning. So today we are going to discuss about vapor absorption refrigeration system. So this is basically this is system where uh, I mean we used this type of refrigeration system where we have we don't have very good facility of electrical energy basically. All right. So basically we can uh, use or you can uh, get cooler condition than surrounding by using this system uh, if we will if we will use waste energy waste heat energy. So basically what happened in case of BC RS cycle we used compressor right compressor then condenser compressor condenser evaporator as well as throttle valve throttle valve but in case we are going to use all these but we are not going to use this compressor we are going to replace this comp compressor by using two things only I mean we'll just uh, use two other things in place of compressor one is generator another one is absorber I'm just still telling you the difference between BCRS vapor compression refrigeration system and BARS what I mean already I have shared with you I mean what is BCRS cycle all right so let's go for it so in case in this place of generator I mean we are using generator as well as two other things that one of them is analyzer and another one is rectifier I will draw a diagram that's why you can understand about it much better way so basically suppose that we have a generator here and then we have here a pump then we'll have an absorber then we have a condenser then suppose that we have expansion valve or throttle valve and refrigerant will go away like this I mean sorry this will be like this so here we're going to use I mean analyzer AN and rectifier and again this will come back here right so now let's understand this concept and what I mean this to be like this here absorber okay so that's why we will have water here so basically expansion valve or throttle valve let's understand this concept okay first of all we are having a refrigerant and we are having two refrigerants at a time one is suppose that NH3 and another one is suppose that H2 this will work as refrigerant this will work as absorber that means we will have absorber here water will absorb refrigerant from here right so basically what is happening what is happening we will use something here to heat to heat the refrigerant here then what will happen refrigerant as well as water will get into vapor then we'll use these two things to make sure that's why we'll get dry NH3 at this point and all other water will come back to here to come back to here right so what will happen the refrigerant go to here then again you know here will have pressure constant pressure temperature will decrease then again enthalpy would be constant and pressure would be decreased and then here again what will happen absorber absorber will absorb this and yeah oh, I'm missing something yes evaporator must have here so evaporator Evaporator absorb heat from here. Then this absorber absorb ammonia as refrigerant here only. Then the process will be uh, keep going in the circle. So this is all about how uh, VARS vapor absorption refrigeration system works. Now let's move to the next topic. And here what will happen? Uh, here pressure. Uh, pressure will be constant and temperature will increase okay now let's go back to the concept I mean which concept is required to know if I'll see if I'll see the equation generator condenser uh, evaporator and absorber these four important components I'm using here and this will move if I'll show the direction like this so what will happen QG plus QE is equal to TC I mean sorry QC plus QA if I will uh, compare the temperature then QZ upon T plus QE upon T TG on TZ TE 
क्यू सी अपॉन टी सी प्लस क्यू ए अपॉन टी ए दिस विल बिकम इक्वेशन फॉर अस नाउ इफ आई विल से और मे बी विल एक्स वट वुड बी द सी ओ पी ऑफ दिस सिस्टम so to find out cop it's interesting my dear because if you understand the concept of engine and the concept of bc or a cycle or any refrigerant a refrigerator then you can easily understand the concept of vars sir vars system um vars system so basically what will happen suppose that we have a generator then we'll have you know generator then we'll have Uh, sorry, uh, T G, T naught, and T E. So this will be like this. This will act as engine. This will act as act as refrigerator. Now, what is the efficiency of engine? As you know, one minus T naught upon T G. And all these terms will be like this. T G would be greater than T naught. Would be greater than T E. Otherwise, the equation will become um, become uh, wrong. So, uh, what is the formula for COP finding out for a refrigerator? Refrigerator desire effect. I mean, if I will say T E upon T naught minus T E in terms of temperature, desire desire effect upon work input that is in terms of heat. So, basically, what is this efficiency of engine? This is a, a COP of refrigerator. 